Hey Russell fam, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my year-end review on Saxon 7.6. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. I am a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. Here on this channel, we talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and everything in between. We also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. There, I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. We also now have a Russell's Loving Life store. where we have t-shirts like this, coffee mugs, Mother's Day shirts, Father's Day shirts. Make sure to check that out. I will leave a link down in the description box for that. And if you are new, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. That just lets you know every time we upload a new video. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my year-end review and my thoughts of Saxon Math level seven six now i have been using saxon math since bailey was in second grade he is currently in sixth grade and um, i just finished using kindergarten last year and then first grade this year with becca so i have used every saxon math curriculum from kindergarten up to the seven six and i love them um, if you have not used saxon and you're looking for the spiral approach that is where you touch on a subject or a topic or a lesson, and then you learn it, and then you go back to a mixed practice, and then in that mixed practice, you come back to everything you learned before. So it's just kind of touching back on everything. So it's not a mastery. It's not memorize it, take a test, forget it, move to something else. That is not how Saxon works. Um, every lesson they have, you're gonna learn the lesson, whatever that lesson is about, you are going to do some problems just from that lesson and then you are going to have about 30 problems what they call mixed practice and that is where you are going to go back and you are going to touch on problems from the previous lessons that just helps you to know if your child knows what's going on if they remember what's going on and if they don't then you can give them extra practice um, there are sections in this workbook that has the extra practice in the back um, if you feel your child needs extra practice on a lesson, there are extra problems back there to help you. If you're looking for flip throughs, do a lesson with us type videos, I will leave the, all those up in the I card. This is basically just a video to share with you my thoughts on Saxon 7.6 and the Saxon curriculum in general. Now this curriculum comes with the, um, the book right here. It comes with an answer sheet and it comes with the um, uh, test and worksheets. So it, you have time test every uh, lesson and um, that can be multiplication, division, um, uh, reducing fractions. It can be converting um, mixed numbers into um, improper fractions, taking improper fractions into um, mixed numbers. There's a whole bunch of different time tests in there, so it is great. Um, I have loved teaching this this year. Um, next year, I am going to be teaching pre-algebra to Bailey, so I am going to go with the DVD and let someone else teach him the pre-algebra part of it. I love math. B math is my best subject, and my husband is an engineer. So we are definitely good with math, but um, I feel that someone else can explain it a little better to him. And if they don't, then I am there to help him. I am trying to teach him to become a more independent learner. So he is not dependent on me to teach him everything. I want him to be able to teach himself and to be able to learn himself without someone having to show him how to do things. So, if you have any questions about the uh, curriculum, drop them in the comments below. Um, every lesson starts with a mental math. That is a little section at the top where they have to do mental math problems. 
and then you move into your lesson and then after the lesson you have lesson problems based on that lesson and then you have the mixed practice now i have found that the curriculum is very um, thorough and when you get into the mixed practice the 30 the 30 problems can take a while um, math by itself can take anywhere from an hour to two hours and sometimes we just get burned out on that long so what i will do is i will let him do the even problems or the odd problems but he has to do all of the lesson practice problems so that is just part of the curriculum that i wanted to share with you it can be long it can be lengthy but it is an amazing program so if you need to change it up a little bit and let them do the evens let them do the odds that is perfectly fine you're their mom you're their dad, you're their parent, you're their teacher, you know what they need and what is best for them. Now, if you come across some problems and you see they need the extra work, then let them do all 30. Um, and if you don't want them to do the mixed practice, then find the extra ones and put them in there. But it is up to you, but I did want you to know that it can be rather long. Um, so that is just something for you to know. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Like I said earlier, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I love listening to y'all's feedback and answering any questions that you have. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.